Hi everyone, my name is Frankie, and welcome to a Movie A Day Challenge. Today is day number 180, and it's June 29th, 2018. Today I'll be watching the 1957 musical film, The Pajama Game. Now in each episode of a Movie A Day Challenge, I pick one film that I've never seen before. And then I take that movie's movie poster, and I place it to the side of me. I do this because, well, I absolutely have no idea of what the film that I'm about to watch is about. And being that I have absolutely no idea of what the film that I'm about to watch is about, I feel like I need to draw some type of conclusion of what I think the film may be about, based solely on the movie poster itself. In saying this, let's go ahead and take a look at the 1957 musical film movie poster to the pajama game. Now upon looking at this movie poster, we can see a young girl uh, you know, standing there while there's a group of men underneath her with just their heads looking up towards her, I guess. She's in pajamas? I don't know what this has to do with a game, but... Doesn't really give me any sense of what this movie is about. I just know that it's probably starring this woman right here, which is Doris Day, I believe. And, uh... These men... Around her. The title is Pajama Game right there. Alright! I don't know what to make of it, but I can't wait to sit down and watch the 1957 musical film, The Pajama Game. Now, after I finish analyzing the movie poster itself, I then let you, the viewer, know that I'm going to go ahead and watch the 1957 musical film, The Pajama Game. But before I go and do that, I want to let you, the viewer, know that after I finish watching The Pajama Game, I then come back and tell you a little bit about the film. However, I don't go in great detail about the film. You see, I try to tell you, the viewer, very little as possible about the film in general. Why? Because I really don't want to ruin a really great film for your viewing pleasure. So, I don't give out any major spoilers about the movie, nor do I tell you anything about the plot of the film either. This way you can enjoy the film for the first time, just like I'm about to. However, if you possibly have seen the 1957 musical film The Pajama Game prior, please substitute this film for something you haven't seen. Something that will be a first viewing time for your viewing pleasure. This way you could possibly join in and take part in a movie a day challenge and watch each film with me as I go along. So substitute that film for whatever film you have never seen before. And take part in a movie a day challenge. Now in saying all this, I'm going to go ahead right now and watch the 1957 musical film The Pajama Game. And then I'm going to come back and tell you a little bit about the film. I'll be right back. I just finished the 1957 musical film, The Pajama Game. And I want to let you, the viewer, know that this musical is an okay musical. I say an okay musical because, yes, the film is alright towards the story sense, in my perspective. However, the film and musical is filled with double entendres sexual double entendres throughout the whole musical film. And to be quite honest, I really wasn't expecting that because the musicals in this film, aside from Cabaret, this month wasn't filled with any sexual innuendos, if I may say so. But, to be quite honest, what made me really not appreciate this movie for what it was, was the lead actor of the film. I felt that the man just came off too strongly in the sense of his character. As if the character himself was basically a person, and I'm not kidding about this, if he didn't get what he wants, he was going to make some sort of domestic violence situation happen. And that's really harsh to say about a film such as The Pajama Game. He came on too strongly towards the character that Doris Day played. This is my perspective of this film. I'm not trying to ruin anything here for your enjoyment. When you watch this film, you may or may not understand where I'm coming from, just towards the character. But to be quite honest, it was just this sense of the character that drew me a little bit afar from this musical film. 
Although, aside from the character itself, I actually like the whole storyline of the musical film. Even though some parts of the film I thought were kind of like, okay, why, why do I need to watch this? You could have done this a different way. But, you know, that's the way it was written and that's the way I had accepted. But, all in all, it's an okay musical. Would I recommend The Pajama Game to a family member or friend? Yes! On a sense of that, like, they knew, like, you know, who Doris Day was and possibly grew up around the time frame that it came out and they never actually had the chance to go and watch it. I don't know if really a younger person right now would, you know, like The Pajama Game, but that is totally my opinion. It may differ from people that were born around this time, but to be quite honest, in my perspective, I don't think anyone would appreciate it that as young. Maybe this is more suitable for an older audience. Would I watch The Pajama Game again? I don't think so. I think The Pajama Game is a good one-and-done film for myself, and I got to enjoy it for a movie a day challenge. Now, if you like today's episode, you see that thumbs up underneath this video, click it. Give us a like for today's episode. As you're doing that, maybe you've seen The Pajama Game and liked it. Maybe you've seen it and didn't like it. Maybe you haven't seen it yet, you're watching this film review, and you're going to go watch it after this film review. Whatever it is, come back and tell me what you thought about it. And please, like it, not, whatever, tell me in your comment box down below. Tell me about it right down there. Right down there. And as you're doing that, you see that word subscribe? Click it. Subscribe to a movie a day challenge. Now tomorrow is day 181 of a movie a day challenge. And I'll be watching the 1967 musical film, Camelot. My name is Frankie. I will be here tomorrow for day 181 and the 1967 musical film, Camelot. I will see you tomorrow.